Alright guys, Mr. Crane here, and this is another online commentary battle that I got for you guys, and um, no, it's not a Dacian campaign for video, as you may have thought by the fact that I'm actually controlling a Dacian army. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just wanted to see what Dacian would like to play, play with online, because I never really used them before. Um, this is a three player battle. Um, as you can see, uh, there's Parthia there, and Spain, I'll get to them in a minute. But let's first look at my army. I've got three units of chosen swordsmen, and I can't wait to get these guys on up on the campaign because <laughs> they're a lot better than the infantry that we've got at the moment. Um, they are like gold silver, I think. Oh no, my gen general unit is gold gold, and the other one, the other two are gold silver. Um, we got three units of falcsmen. And they are just silver, bronze, maybe I can't remember. If I got four, sorry, they're they're archers. Sorry, they're three units of archers. Sorry, um, and they're silver attack, bronze defense. Um, two units of falcsmen are in there, and they've got silver attack. And I also got three units of barbarian cav, and they are they got like silver attack, bronze defense. So yeah. I like that combination. But you see I deployed because I wanted to get up on this hill because I realised I was going to... Well I wanted to take this guy off this hill because I didn't want him to sit there the whole game. This Spanish player. And he is Gorilla which is slightly ironic considering he's the... He's commanding the Spanish. Spaniards anyway. Obviously it's not spelt right but whatever. Um, yeah I wanted to get on a level playing field so yeah. to oust him from this hill. Uh, this guy's got a Balearic Slinger unit here. It's turning to face me. He's got General's Bodyguard, General's Bodyguard. He's got three General's Bodyguards for some reason. So yeah, I don't know why he's got three. But there you go. Um, he's got two Naked Fanatics here by the look of it. Yeah. Um, two units of Skatari. Um, Town Militia, <laughs> okay. He's got three Town Militia and one Iberian Infantry, as you may have seen there. He's got another unit of Balearic Slingers this side. Um, skirmishers and these Boar Warriors. They're pretty... I don't know, they're, they're good but overpriced as far as I'm concerned. They cost too much for online. So I don't, I don't really use them. Well, I don't really use Spain a lot, really. I only use them at low money battles um, and use the Skitaria. But anyways, this Parthian player, Aspirin, has got uh, four units, oh, there's one over here, five units of Eastern Infantry. And yeah, they're not they're not that good really. They're bad against infantry, they're only good for def defending against cavalry, like charges on your archers. So that's the only reason I buy them, if I ever buy them. Um, here he's got three units of no, they're just horse archers. And you can see um, my guys are firing at his Balearic Slingers. But anyways, let's get back to the army of Aspirin. He's got some cat. Uh, you may have seen he's got some cat. Uh, cat why do you keep some cat? Why I was going to say Carthages, but no. <laughs> Cataphracts, sorry. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, he's got three units of them. And he's got two units of Arab Cav, I think. Yeah. I can't see his upgrades, or some of them, because he's so far away from my army. You see his army got a bit close to... The Parthian Plague army got a bit close to my archers, so... I was firing his horse archers with my archers. Because they're right... Horse archers are right pain. But this Spanish player is just going to sit here. He's going to fire some shots at these Eastern Infantry. That'll be easy pickings. But I want, yeah, I wanted to use my archers because I realised I outnumbered the Spanish player in terms of missile units. So I really wanted to be able to use them. But yeah. I don't really, I've, this is like one of the only times I've used data online. Partly because I'm doing a campaign with them, so I don't really want to get 
tired. I don't want to get tired of using them. And also because they're not really that good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting uh, these swordsmen and also um, barbarian noble cap, noble cab. I know I don't have them here, but they're pretty sweet. But yes, these di these guys are getting shot by my guys. It's nice of them to be firing at the Spanish guy, not me. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be doing this archer battle for a bit. And here's a bit of action. He's sending his general's bodyguard, or one of them, to attack the uh, archers and scare them away, but they're going to be much quicker. Yeah, this battle is... I think it was like... His Belarus thing has got slaughtered, by the way, by my archers. Um, yeah, and they're all dead. Um, yeah, this battle is like 7,500 denarii, I think. So, as you can see, this Spanish player's not got that many upgrades. That's, pr that's why it's because it's such a low money level. So yeah. And um, today I've been really, fr I've just come offline, I've been really frustrated by, um, I got, I had four really good battles, but they got terminated like just before I was about to win. Just really frustrating. So I probably won't be able to upload them. Yeah, it's just really frustrating. And also, um, yeah, the literally the battle just before I'm doing this, um, there was it was like an eight-player free-for-all, and I was doing pretty well. Well, I was doing okay, and then uh, it was two people who had teamed up together basically, like without telling anyone. They just they camped and then teamed up together and then there was someone that was just camping in the back after I defeated that army after I defeated those two armies and they um, the camping army just destroyed me which is just really frustrating because I know I could have won that battle or I should have won it anyway <laughs> see I'm shooting this James bodyguard unit this guy's just sitting here and taking it That's his general unit as well. That's the only that's the one out of the three general's bodyguards that it actually contains his general. You see here he's gonna send his skirmishes down. I shoot his general the there. Enemy warlord is dead, slain by your brave warriors. You see this guy? takes out some of his skirmishers or bull warriors. No, he takes out bull warriors. So yeah, he lost his best unit there, the Spanish player. The Spanish player's getting pretty slaughtered really. You see there's a unit of that's them routing. So the Parthian player is not gonna like me just being here. So he's gonna going to go after me. So I'm going to rotate my army. And you'll see I detached a unit of um, Barbarian Cav to charge his General's Bodyguard unit, or one of them. And he's just got this unit of town militia. What is he doing? Oh my god. I'm going to try and shoot those cataracts because it's the most dangerous thing to my army. They're pretty well armoured, so they're going to take. They're going to get away. They're attacking us. I'm going to send this unit back now. And here he charges in on my chosen swordsman, and I'm going to charge him with my falcsman. But he gets out of there, which is pretty, pretty swift. But I managed to route them because I'm shooting at them with my archers. So he's going to move his Arab cab in as well. So these Span the Spanish and the Parthian player are sort of like about to team up on me. But I managed to route 
uh, his Arab Cav fairly easily because the Falksmen are really good against cavalry. I think they got like a bonus. See all those huge swords. But yeah, um, he's still got his horse archers firing at me. So I don't know what the Spanish player is doing. But the Parthian players come into my um, come into my from my right. And he's gonna take some shots on my guys. <laughs> Not sure who he's shooting at. I think he's shooting at my cav, so I decide to move them out of the way. I sort of wanted to get rid of these horse archers desperately, because they're just really frustrating me. You can see they're exhausted, so their miss their arrows won't be as as effective. And here I'm just rearranging my army to face the uh, face the Parthian army. And you see, I'm tr I'm just running all my cav at these horse archers, and because they're exhausted, usually they will be able to get away, but because they're exhausted, they can't. So I managed to route both those units, which is good. Because they're such a pain in the neck. You see here, I'm just firing at his spearmen, I think. Taking them down. Or oh, maybe his archers then. You have to pick your spots when you're like a, a faction like Dacia. And you see he's charging my archers. And I can't remember if he routes them or not. He might do. I charge in my swordsmen and my falcsmen as well. And they route, yeah, so I do route them, okay. But he, this archer's only lost 10 men, so it's fine. You see, the Spanish player is sending in a general bodyguard unit. And I'm just gonna easily hack them down, and they're gonna route. In fact, I don't know, I'm gonna draw, let's destroy their unit altogether. And so the Spanish player is gonna just attack me straight away. He's sending in town militia. But his naked fanatics are pretty deadly. I did I write his town militia there. <laughs> you see. It's a mass route down here. Against my upgraded swordsman and falcsman. Enemy army runs! Now hunt them down. And I can't maybe did he quit? I don't know if he quit. Or maybe, he j or maybe I just routed all his men. I think he was taking fire from the... Well, me and also the Parthian player. You see, here's a huge battle going on. He sent in his cataphracts. And my fights men are going to have a go at them. As well as my swordsmen. He's sending in... He's just sending in everything. And I was a bit worried about this at this point. But I managed to route a unit of Eastern Infantry there. So it's, this is a 50-50 battle. Could have gone anywhere here. So the cataphracts are cutting through my lines. I'm getting a bit overwhelmed. My archers are taking shots. But I managed to route a unit of cataphracts there. Oh no, sorry, a unit of Eastern Infantry. And I charge in with my uh, cavalry. And that pretty much saves my army there. His, my cavalry. That charge saved my army because look there's not that many men left really he's going to send in this, this unit of archers just last stand here and my horses are just going to cut them down oh no, they're still they're still here he's shooting at me with his horse archers I think still I think they rallied and there's his general dad. You have killed the enemy general. Now his men He's got a couple of men. He's got now a couple of Eastern infantry that rallied. Attack! Attack! But the battle's pretty much over now. So I'm firing with my archers still. I think the key to this was keeping hold of my cavalry and archers. Do you see there's some over there? I managed to keep hold of all my units of archers. And I've still got some cav. I lost one unit, I think maybe. But look, my infantry is my infantry is pretty shattered. Falcsmen are down to 12 men here. There's a oh, there's a unit of barbarian cab back there as well. 
see I'm just going to charge in on his Eastern Infantry. And he's got a couple of more units over here that have rallied as well. His infantry are going to rout. And there you are. Enemy army runs. Now hunt them down. That's that's the game. It's a very close battle in the end. After a really slow start. But yeah. Dacia pulls through. And I got to 651 kills. And I had 246 from men remaining. Um, Aspirin had 357 kills and 77 men remaining. And Gorilla had 106 men. Or 106 kills and 141 men remaining. Um, I remember Aspirin saying this. Uh, <laughs> like in a like joking way. He's like, for God's sake, go away, Mr. Ferrini. Because <laughs> this is the second time that I've beaten him in the battle in a row. And yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It was pretty close, I thought. There's a lot of dead Parthians here. But yes, uh, good game to Aspirin and Gorilla. I hope you guys enjoy this battle. Cheers.